I haven't gone live in so long. Okay, I'm trying to get this set up just right. So I would like to say happy Sunday. Good morning, everybody. Okay, still not that good. Okay, I gotta try to find where my put my tripod. Okay, um, and where's my chat? Okay, here we are, live chat. Okay. Mm, should I use a filter? Bubbles? Why would I want to do that? Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. So as the title of my video is, it's called an idea channeling session. And what that is, um, is this idea or this concept of while meditating, you are connected to the universe. You're connected to the field. You're connected to divine oneness. And the universe, oh, hi, Hi, Chama. Hi. How are you today? Okay, so while you're connect while you're meditating, what happens is your mind calms down. So you go from this very active, very high frequency. Um, it's called a theta brainwave. Especially if you are in a survival mode, your theta brainwave is overactive. You are in survival mode very difficult to feel safe. It's very difficult to be creative in that mode. So what you need to do if you are finding a block or, you know, if you um, are looking for ideas, one way to do this is to meditate. One moment. There's a lot of things I wanted to talk about. Um, I also, I didn't write anything down. I, I wanna try to kind of flow with the universe a little more readily. And I find that when I write down a bunch of notes, I find myself flowing and then going back to the notes and then flowing again and then going back to the notes. It's very incoherent. It's very hard to follow. And I think that relates back to this belief that I have uh, ADHD. <laughs> and I might, I might not, but that is neither here nor there with regard to this topic. So I was talking about, <laughs> I was talking about meditation and in your normal waking state, like I said, you are in this theta or high theta, uh, sorry, not theta, high beta. And when you're in beta, you cannot, you cannot cr be creative. So what you need to do is calm your, calm, you know, use all the methods you have for stress reduction and anxiety reduction and just become very mindful connect to the earth, you know, use your anchoring methods, use your grounding techniques. And the best way to do that is by breathing. When you do slow, deliberate breaths, nice deep belly breaths, or even something like square breathing, it calms down your nervous system and it calms down your brain waves. And ideally you come down to a state called alpha. And alpha is where you can more easily enter into a meditative state. Once you've reached this alpha brainwave, you are a lot more calm and you're able to be more creative and you can essentially channel any energies that are around you or out in the field, out in the universe, anything available, any ideas that are out in the field, and there are many available to you at any time and you can attract them to you. Or at least you can look at it like this, not necessarily attract them, you can notice them. When you are in this reactive beta brainwave, you cannot notice all the beautiful things around you. You don't notice the colors. You don't notice the sun rising or setting. You don't notice, you know, when somebody around you needs you. But when you calm down to the alpha state, everything in your surroundings becomes more brilliant and more beautiful and you feel safe and calm and more able to create. This is where the writer's block ends. This is where this is where you're able to really be in flow, like I said. And then the next brainwave, once you're able to calm down even further and come to this kind of very balanced feeling is called theta brainwave. And that can be reached only in an altered state. So what I mean by that is you're not going to be, you know, out driving your car and kind of you know, you can go more into an automatic mode while driving, yes, but you're not in a full theta 
that would be very dangerous because <laughs> you really do need to be paying attention to the road. Theta brainwave is what happens when you're dreaming. It's what happens when you're meditating and you kind of become no place, no, no, no one, nowhere, you know. You forget about your ego and your identity and you just are. And that is the best, most, like that is the most ideal state to be if you're channeling, if you're trying to channel and look for and attract ideas. And, and I mean, we all, we all have this moment where, you know, we come up with this inspired thought, this inspired idea, this really creative moment where you're like, oh my gosh, I, I know exactly what I want to do. And that's a beautiful thing. And that's usually when you're paying attention to something else. You know, life happens when you're busy doing something else. That's what they say. Um, so what I would like to offer is, a, you know, once a week, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining every Sunday, I would like to set things up, introduce the session, and allow myself into as close to a theta brainwave as possible and verbally share any of my ideas that come to me. I find that when I'm meditating, hi Kato, how are you? Yay. Um, as I, I was just saying that when I'm meditating, I find, or I used to find it very distracting because as much as I would be telling my thoughts, you know, I'll, I'll deal with you later. Thank you for coming, but I'll deal with you later. Um, I found that something that really helps me is I keep a notepad beside me. And I don't know if that's good. I'm glad you're doing good. I don't know if, um, oh wait, what was I saying? Oh, I keep a notepad beside me so that in the beginning of my meditation, as I'm going from the alpha heading toward the theta brainwave, I, you know, when ideas pop in, I find that the ego side of me says, oh my gosh, you're going to forget this idea. This is a great idea. You're going to forget it. I want to write it down so at least I can turn and like, you know how they say when you're um, having a dream and you wake up and, and you want to remember your dream or you want to start tracking your dream, you have to write it down right away or you're going to lose it. When you're close to that theta brainwave, you are close to a dream state. And okay, mwah, take care. Thank you for coming by, Kato. Okay. Um, but my point is that I get all these ideas, lots and lots of ideas. I get ideas for books, for stories, for videos, for inventions, for, um, hi, always plug, hi. Mwah. I get all these ideas. It channels, it, it comes so fast. And um, I, I mean, like I get names in my head. I get uh, jingles, I get, um, um, I get ideas for movies. I get ideas for books. I get ideas, like I said, I've already said books, I think, but it's, it's very difficult because I find at some point I was trying to materialize every idea that I get. I was trying to write. At one point I had going, a, you know, two blogs, two different websites with blogs. I had going my Etsy shop where I have, um, you know, logo t-shirts and crafts and jewelry and things like that. Um, I have going on, um, you know, I wrote two books on Amazon and I have another book being published right now um, all about different things. Like they're not even about the same topic. So not even in one coherent theme. It's like my ideas are all over the place, which means that they're, oh, hello, Jeremy. I'm good. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. And what I realized is that perhaps or not perhaps, absolutely, I'm not meant to do something with every single idea that comes. I, I can't, I can't do it. Unless I had like an army of a hundred staff members around me where I could delegate, you know, you go and write this book, you go and write this script, you go and, um, you know, design this product. So what I'm imagining and what I, what conclusion I've come to is that the ideas I, I'm getting are to be shared. And I always wanted to be able to help people for free. I don't, I, that, this is my problem. I'm a natural, like I'm a flower child. Like I would live so nicely, like in a, in a tent somewhere, you know, with flowers in my hair, like a wreath of flowers and hold on. Same here. I have forgotten more than I have written down and hi, T. Oh, hi. Hi Rick. How are you? 
yeah, there's a lot of ideas, you know, like Rick, like Rick just put in the comments, you know, you forget more than, than you remember. You, you get all of these things flowing to you while you're meditating. And what do you do with it all? Nothing. It's, lo it's not that it's lost. I'm sure it goes somewhere else. It goes to someone, someone else. But what I'd like to do is um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to start next week because I'm not in a meditative state right now at all. I woke up late. <laughs> I'm not following my proper routine. I don't know if you guys know I'm a school teacher. Um, I teach high school grade. Right now I'm teaching grade 9 and grade 11. I teach religion. I teach... Um, Right now they have me teaching geography. It's very odd. It's very, it's, it's very three dimensional, very tactile. I guess it's, it's okay for me to connect with my, my, the three dimensional world more often, you know, stay grounded. Right. Okay. So next week, oops, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing with this here. Next week, what I'm going to be doing is coming on at 10 AM and, um, you know, I'll explain what I'm going to do very quickly and then I'm going to go into a meditative uh, as close to a theta state as I can um, conjure in a short amount of time. I conjure might not be the best word but and and then I will share the ideas that are streamed to me and I don't know how long the session will last maybe 10 minutes. Um, afterwards um, we can talk about meditation. We can talk about how to um, decalcify the pineal gland. We can talk about how, and, and, and while decalcifying and when it's decalcified, that is when you really channel, you really get into a meditative state. You can connect with your spirit guide. That's where a lot of my ideas I know are being given to me from my spirit guide. She, her name's Catherine. She is so helpful. And I mean, she's pure light, you know, just like, every, you know, all of you guys have a spirit guide as well. Who's pure light and pure kindness, beauty, everything, a pure love, everything good in a person or in the world is all packed up into our spirit guides in our, in our angels that follow us and take care of us. Everything's happening for a reason. Everything happens in good time and in order it's supposed to. I love you guys. I'm going to end it here. Please leave any comments. Please leave any questions, anything about um, spirituality, anything about spiritual awakening, dark night of the soul, anything at all about um, the ego and how to overcome uh, limiting beliefs. I would love to be able to talk about all of these things all day long. I should, I should just do it then. Okay, guys, I love you. Mwah. Oh, yes. I'm going to take my throne soon. <laughs> Positivity princess. Yeah, I haven't been referring to myself that way. I should, I should always introduce myself. I'm your positivity princess. I used to do that. And I think I started to become discouraged somehow. I don't know. I think it's because the world is so dark and so I, I have to look at the light in the world. You're right. Absolutely. Thank you. Ah, I love you. Take care, guys. Have a wonderful day and A, be positively happy. Mwah.